Hello everyone, this is a, a special Project Glastron video and the fact that it's not a vlog entry. Uh, this video is an answer video uh, to some of the viewers out there who've been asking questions about the US Composites order that I did back in 2014. Um, so if you'll just hang on real quick, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on that order like I've been asked and uh, just kind of do some explanations on pricing and stuff like that. Hello everyone, welcome back. So let's just dive on into it. I'm going to show you my list of the US Composites order that I placed back in June of 2014. And on this list you're going to see everything from 1708, chop strand fibers, uh, resin, you name it. Everything that I needed to get started on the fiberglass of this boat. Now as you can see the date on this is 6-30-2014. So take this with a little bit of a grain of salt um, as to what the prices might be now. This was obviously over a year because um, we haven't quite made it back to June just yet. So it's, it's going on two years here in a few more months. As you can see, I ordered two of the two pound foam uh, kits and that was a total of $134 for both of those. I ordered 15 yards of 1708 and that was a grand total of $123. Then I ordered two of the 435 standard polyester five gallon resin um, buckets. And that was a total of $250 uh, US for both of those uh, five gallons. Then I ordered 20 yards of 50 inch CSM fiberglass mat and that was $64. Then come down to the next line which was the Cabasil at a four gallon tub for $22.50. And finally, the last thing on the list was a quarter inch chop strand, uh, four pounds of that for $11.85. Now, just kind of to walk back through some of you guys who are new and what these uh, items have been used for, the chop strand and the cabasil mixed with the fiberglass um, polyester standard resin. I use all three of those to make fiberglass putty. And then I have also been using the um, 1708 for lots of my tabbing. And I basically have tabbed everything in with 1708 actually. And then to finish it off, I would always go over it with CSM if and when needed. I haven't done a lot of CSM work um, up to date with this video. Um, it's mostly just been the transom. Uh, but you're actually, in this video, you'll see me using CSM again. Scroll on down to the bottom of this and you can see the grand total was $7.35.98 for all of this. Alright everyone, so that's the list. Um, two more little tips to point out related to the fiberglass order. Tip number one, the order shipping method that I went with was freight shipping. That saved me the most money. Now to get this you need to call in to US Composites and let them get you a quote for freighting if it's even possible. For me it was an option and it was possible because there's a place here in Jonesboro that they could freight to. Uh, depending on where you're at, that may or may not be an option. The second thing I want to talk about is actually using the resin itself, something that I do to help me keep track of how much I've used out of the five gallon bucket, which is very hard to keep up with unless you do something like this. So basically what I do is here on the top of the bucket, I make a log sheet of the pours out of that bucket. Now what this does is when you feel like you're running out of material from the container, you can go back and add up how many ounces you've poured out and you should be able to tell what you actually have left versus having to guess. This is what helps me out. This is how I've stayed on track for ordering more, uh, knowing if I'm about to run out of material, whatever it may be. Uh, this is just a little tip I want to pass along because it works for me. Anyway, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this answered some questions that y'all have had. And again, thanks for subscribing, thumbs up, shares, everything. I always appreciate it. And again, we'll see you real soon.